Thank you. Thank you very much. It's awesome to be here. Um, biggest crowd I've seen, including all four years that I was playing soccer here. Uh, so this is, uh, this is pretty cool. Um, look, it's a beautiful day to be alive, uh, and that, that, that will mean something a little bit more to this uh, group, I think, hopefully by the end of my remarks. Um, first, I'd like to start by thanking a few people um, who are here, and then I'm gonna uh, finish by thanking someone, thanking someone who's not here. Um, and hopefully, as I express my gratitude to those folks, um, you'll learn a little bit about uh, what these people and this experience and this institution means to me and I think means to a lot of other people. Um, so first, congratulations to the other inductees and honorees. It's awesome. Um, I remember uh, first person I saw when I walked into uh, the, the UMass um, weight training room was, was James. And uh, I think I saw his tricep from like, you know, 100 feet away. <laughs> and I thought, I must be in the wrong place. Uh, unfortunately, I was in the right place. But um, no, it's, it's really cool to be here with these other great, great folks. Um, first, thanks to the whole UMass athletics uh, department that put on today's event. Uh, and that does all the little things to that uh, every day. Um, there's so many people, but academic services, facility staff, dining staff, uh, athletic training folks um, that make events like tonight possible, and more important, that make it possible for student athletes to be, to be successful. Um, without all the little things being taken care of in our lives when we are trying to go to class and, 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 and perform on the, on the field or in the rink or whatever it is, we wouldn't be able to do it without those folks. So thank you to them. I know a lot of them are here tonight. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank and recognize Coach O'Leary, his staff, and, and the players that are here tonight to um, you know, support me. It means a lot. You guys are doing a great job with the squad right now, so keep it up, and, and, and good luck tomorrow. Um, third, I'd like to thank uh, my family. I'm not going to mention everyone because there's a lot here, and it really means a ton to me that you all, that you all made it. Um, but I'd, I would like to specifically thank my, my siblings, um, my brother who's in just from 29 Palms, is about to head off to Okinawa, and my sister who flew in from, from Paris. It, it really means a lot to me that you are both here. I'd like to thank my mom also for being here. And, you know, quite simply, she just taught me that, that kindness cures everything. So thanks, Mom. Um, and I'd, of course, like to thank my dad as well for being here, who, in addition to teaching me how to write, how to lift weights, how to drive a stick shift, how to cook, which was helpful in, um, you know, wooing my future wife. Um, the most important thing he taught me was that only a fraction of a percent of high school athletes become college athletes, only a smaller fraction of, of them become pro athletes, and even a smaller fraction of the pro athletes actually make any money doing it. Um, and he did tell me this when I was about 16 and I wanted to be, you know, a shooting guard in the NBA. So he was probably right. Turns out he was sort of wrong because, you know, things turned out okay. But I will tell you that even though my soccer career was a lot of fun, it was not lucrative. And most of us student athletes are gonna end up behind a desk or on a construction site or in front of a, a classroom when we're 25 or 26 or whenever it is. And so to have that perspective uh, instilled in me from a young age means a lot and is, you know, it's just, so thank you. Um, finally to my wife, I can't actually give any credit to her uh, for my exploits while at UMass because she was too busy at the University of Florida cheering Tim Tebow on to two national championships, <laughs> Joe Kim Noah to a couple, uh, you know, basketball championships. However, I can thank her for, and thank you for making me incredibly happy, for supporting me in my career, and for being my friend and partner. So, so thank you. Um, so speaking about my wife brings me to the last person I'd like to thank, um, a person who isn't here today. Um, <clears throat> my coach while I was here was a gentleman by the name of Sam Koch. And the reason I say that speaking about my wife brings me to him is because his best decision was choosing to marry his wife, Suzanne Koch, who's here. Um, it's probably more accurate to say that it was his greatest accomplishment. Um, 
convincing a woman like her to marry him. Uh, but she put up with all his oddities. She raised a beautiful family of four kids while he was spending, I think, all his time with us. Um, and he passed away in 2014 after a two-year battle with cancer um, at the age of 59, way too early. Uh, but he left a lasting, I think, impression on, on the world, most notably with his family, but also, I think, here at this institution, and I know certainly um, in, in my life. Um, as far as the soccer program at UMass, <clears throat> Coach was literally brought in to shut the program down in 1991 to, you know, get rid of the operating budget, find kids new schools to go play at, whatever. It turns out they had a great year, and he made it pretty much impossible for the athletic department to get rid of the program. Um, he rebuilt the program into a program that had a limited budget, but a clear identity of working hard and playing smart, if not always beautiful, soccer a program that could achieve results that exceeded the pure talent of its individual players. He also prided himself on having a program that gave, gave anyone a chance and demanded that everyone earn their spot every day. So it happened that in the spring of my freshman year, I showed up to the walk-on tryouts uh, for the UMass soccer team. It was sleeting out. It was in February, I think. Um, we were playing on the lacrosse field. Coach Canella, thank you for letting us use it. Uh, but it's a terrible place to play soccer on. Um, and it was about 6 a.m. on a Monday. No one from the current team wanted to be there, um, but Coach did. He was that, was, that was his favorite time. Um, because he wanted people, he wanted to find people for his team that wanted to be there, that wanted to prove they belonged, and wanted to play soccer for UMass. Um, I had the fortune of making the team that week during those walk-on tryouts, and so I got a shot. And then by a combination of injuries and some other things going on with the team, I went from being the third string walk-on keeper to starting the first two games of my what was really my freshman year. Um, and thankfully to me, I did pretty well and coach never looked back. Even after allowing five goals in the opening conference game, he didn't look back. He gave me a second chance. He believed that folks that exhibited strong character, that showed tireless work ethic, and that a commitment to the team over the individual were the people that he wanted in his organization. Um, I certainly was not perfect, but those values were important to me and they were important to coach. Um, before, his, before he had to step away from the team, I will tell you that he continued to hold walk-on tryouts every year until he left. And as far as I know, coach, is still doing, coach O'Leary is still doing the same thing. I think it's an awesome thing. So I want to end by repeating what I started with. It's a beautiful day to be alive. That was one of the Coach Koch's favorite sayings. 6 a.m. practice in March with snow on the ground. Gentlemen, it's a beautiful day to be alive. You know, maybe 20 degrees here, but it's five degrees in Anchorage. <laughs> and this, by the way, was before he got sick. It's fair to say, I think, that Coach had a screw or two loose, but something that he was completely right about, and which I try to remember every morning, and every time I start feeling bad for myself, is that it's a beautiful day to be alive. And so I'd like to accept this award in memory of Coach Koch and as a celebration of his belief that every day is an opportunity to savor the moment. I intend to cherish this honor, to continue to give back to this university, to continue to remind people of Coach Koch's contribution to this institution, and to live each day with the vigor that Coach brought to each of his days. Thank you very much.